Today I'm going to be eating one of the national dishes of the UK. So you might be thinking, is it fish and chips? Is it a full English breakfast? Or could it be a roast dinner? Well, it's none of those because today I'll be eating a chicken tikka masala. And what better place to have it than the famous Curry Mile in Manchester. So join me as I head for a chicken tikka masala in the Curry Mile. Oh yeah, my, my thing's not working. Oh, thank you. So today I'm going to be travelling from Leeds, so it shouldn't take too long, about an hour or so. So chicken tikka masala, one of the most popular dishes in the UK and also created here. So there's loads of rumours and stories about where it originated, some saying Scotland, some saying London, but the common theme is it's invented in the UK. Okay, let's head on the train and I'll tell you a little more about the Curry Mile. So I am on the 9.45 to Manchester Airport from Platform 16. I'm guessing this is going to be a bit of a packed train. Right, I've made it on board. Let's head to Manchester. Good morning, everybody, and welcome on board the 945 Transpennine Express service to Manchester International Airport. Our first calling point will be Dewsbury, then on through to Leeds. Sorry, Huddersfield, but we're not going back to Leeds, don't worry about it. We're going to Dewsbury, then Huddersfield, then Manchester Victoria, Oxford Road, and Piccadilly, and then down to Manchester Airport where we are due in at about 10 past 11 this morning. My name's Miel, I'm your doctor on the service and I am with you through to the airport today, so welcome. And I've arrived in Manchester. So the stop I got off at is Manchester Oxford Road, which is the closest to the Curry Mile. Okay, so time now is about 11 a.m. It's gonna take me about half an hour or more to walk to the Curry Mile. So let's start heading over there. So the Curry Mile in Manchester is part of a street called Wilmslow Road, where every other shop is either an Indian Pakistani, Bangladeshi, Sri Lankan or Middle Eastern restaurant serving food from those regions and some of the best in the UK. Hence the name, the Curry Mile. Although I don't think it's technically a mile though. I think it's a little shorter than that.
and I think I'm just coming up to it right now so that ahead there should be the Curry Mile I don't know if you can see that up there but there's a big banner that says the Curry Mile so I guess we're on it let's go find some chicken tikka masala let's have a walk down the street and see if it really is true that every other shop is either a South Asian or Middle Eastern restaurant so we've got a couple of dessert places that I've seen so far Pitmaster barbecue and smokehouse I think we need to head further down into the street okay so I think the further down the street you head the truer it is so now that we're successfully in the curry mile let's go have a look for a good chicken tikka masala place I think I'm gonna go in here Bardes this is one of the best rated Indian restaurants in the curry mile let's head in and I've made it inside and I found myself a nice seat by the window and it's a nice little restaurant in here check this out so I've arrived I think it's about 12 o'clock when it just opened so I'm the first customer let's have a look at the menu so this is the menu and it's absolutely massive there's so many things on here but I think the one that I'm gonna go for is the chicken tikka masala right there plus I think I'm going to get myself a garlic naan bread too right there okay so food ordered and I also got myself a mango let's see which is a mango yogurt drink delicious my food has arrived and it looks and smells delicious check this out this is a chicken tikka masala with garlic naan let me give you a closer look the naan bread you can smell and see the garlic on there I think this is the first time I've had naan bread but you can see little pieces of garlic and then we have the chicken tikka masala really nice looking gravy with it big pieces of chicken I can't wait to dig in I think I'm going to start off with the naan bread I have a look at this there's a big circular naan bread cut into four pieces and you can see little pieces of garlic in there I think with butter as well this looks amazing so let's go for a bite mm. so this naan bread is delicious it's really buttery really light not heavy at all and then you get the little pieces of garlic which have that sharp garlic taste this is an amazing naan bread next up let's try the chicken tikka masala i'm going to go in for some of the sauce first now let me show you this have a look at that so it looks creamy nice and tomatoey you can see the butter in there it's thick the spices smell delicious let's go for a bite mm. this is fantastic okay so this chicken tikka masala definitely has a bit of a kick to it you can feel the spice building in the back of your throat but it's got a nice tomatoey creamy flavor buttery as well it's smooth you can taste all the spices definitely the chili as well but this is a great chicken tikka masala next up let's go for one of the pieces 
of chicken. So you get nice big pieces, and look at that chunk there. And I think with this chicken tikka, it's been cooked in a tandoor oven first. I can see the charcoal grill marks on it. So I think it's probably cooked first and then mixed in with the sauce. But it looks incredible. Let's go for a taste. Mm. Mm. This again is delicious. So you've got nice white chicken breast meat there in the middle, perfectly cooked, and it's not dry at all, which sometimes it can be. Got a salty flavour as well. The sauce combines in there perfectly. This is some good chicken. I think I need to rip off a bit of the naan bread and dip it in the gravy. Here it goes. This just looks incredible and it just smells so good. Let's take a bite. Mm. Mm. Okay, so that garlic naan bread really does complement the gravy, the tikka gravy, so well. The spices mix together perfectly. The garlic really does come through. It's fresh garlic and it combines with the spices of the masala so well. This is delicious again. So for the ultimate bite, I'm going to mix everything together. The garlic naan, the masala gravy and the tender pieces of chicken. Here it goes. This, I can already tell, it's going to be delicious and just so tasty. Going from the last bites, this is just going to be incredible. Have a look at that. Let's take a bite. Mm. One of the good things about having a mango lassi is that if it gets a little too spicy, which this is a little bit, I can feel it in the back of my throat, you can have this to cool it down. What a fantastic meal that was. I think that was one of the best chicken tikka masalas I've ever had in my life. So, Bardez, Indian restaurant on the Curry Mile, definitely worth a visit. Right, so chicken tikka masala eaten at the Curry Mile. Time now is about half past one. My train leaves Manchester at three. Let's go see what else we can do in the meantime. That's a bit of interesting artwork slash sculpture. Let's see what exactly it is. Michael Lyons, Phalanx, 1977 painted steel. There's not really too much in this park, just grass and trees and the odd bird. Meteor Fall. Here in this park on the night of Friday the 13th February 2015, a meteorite landed and was lost. So if you've ever wondered if there's a park in the UK where a meteorite fell and was lost, it's this one, Whitworth Park. Right, enough of this park, let's head back to the train station. Hang on a second. I think this park might have redeemed itself. It's part of this art gallery, shop, cafe, 
park and gardens open to all. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to go in and have a look around. I need to get back to the train station. Time now is about 10 to 3. My train is at 3 on platform 2, just over this bridge and down the stairs. I've made it back to Leeds. Time now is about quarter past four, so the train was about on time. Let me give you a breakdown of the cost I've spent today. So the return train journey cost £27.20. The chicken tikka masala meal in total was £22.45. Okay, if you like the video and want to see more, click on the thumbs up icon below and click on subscribe to come along for the next food journey and I'll see you there.